Hello, ladies, gentlemen, non-binaries, and everybody else under the rainbow of our wonderful community. How are you doing today? We're back! Another day of sexy, spicy September, and it's slowly coming to an end. I can't believe I've almost done this for a month, which is amazing just in general content stuff that I've done, so go me! As always, guys, I am posting content every day in September, whether it be here on YouTube or over on Twitch. And over there, I always have a live audience. So if you want to be a part of that action, you should check out my links in the description box below where all of my info is at. As well as where all of the game info for today's game is at as well. And speaking of game, today we're looking at Under Maintenance. And they do a really good job because they already give me the really cute, uh, uh, dateable people right in the front screen, which we love. We love to see it. The story goes, after a rough day at work, all you want to do is settle in with your favorite Otome game. Me? No. No, I would never do that. <laughs> Okay, I've been, um, I'm already, I'm, I'm sold. Hook, line, and sinker, let's go. Only to realize it's gone down for maintenance. How will you pass these troubling times? Risk going to a watering hole to drown your sorrows in a beverage of choice? Begrudgingly scroll through a dating app to meet your love for the night? Oh, for the night? Wow, we, we, we not, we not look, we're not thinking long term. We're just like, just tonight, just tonight. Either way, adventure shenanigans and hot singles in your area await. Disclaimer, heartache, probable. Choose wisely. Well, I don't necessarily want my Otomes to have heartbreak involved, but you know, it, 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 sometimes that, that, that is just what comes with the job sometimes. So we got, you gotta take the good with the bad. And with that, let's check it out. Look at that. Look at that. I don't know which one I'm going for yet. Just gonna let you guys look at the preferences. Um, window, disabled, I'm not skipping anything. We have the default, uh, which you can change though, so that's kind of cool. Um, font size, text box, sprite, you can have it hidden or it can be visible so it can you can imagine yourself. I like that option. Uh, voice volume all the way up, which means we're gonna have some voice acting. And yeah, all the all the usual stuff. So with that, let's go. Okay, we had a mall. Phone, yep. Keys, check. Lip gloss. I've managed to go a whole week without losing. Still got it. Badge. Hey, where's my work badge? Six months ago, I took a position that required me to move to a new town. A fresh start in a fresh place. But without warning, my company decided to shutter that office after a few months. So with barely a severance check in hand, I had to scramble to find a new job. A girl's gotta eat, you know. Which brings us to today. Me, living my exciting, glamorous life as a temp retail manager at a seasonal store in the local mall. You know the kind. In the spring they sell fake plants and plastic garden gnomes. In the winter it's shitty looking wreaths and the ugliest Christmas ornaments. Oh my god, I love it. Now I'm just waiting for something better to come my way. If something better ever comes my way. Someday. Someday doesn't look like today though. Today I seem to have lost my work badge, so now I ha now I get to wait for security to let me into the store while I call HR about getting a replacement. The Den of Evil! No, that- what? I thought that would just be a name we put in. It's actually their- what? Thank you for calling DOE Human Resources. How can we not help you today? Hi? Yes, I need a replacement work badge. Sounds like the Charlie Brown parrots. Of course! Let me just look up look you up in our system. What's your name and position? 
My name is Reaper. I often lose these things, so you will remember this name. Reaper. I'm the temporary manager at the small town location. Perfect. Okay, we can see your file. Now for identity confirmation, please answer your security question. What is your best friend's name? I have, before people judge the silence, I have a best friend. I don't want to put it on the internet for everyone to see. I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call them Jay. There we go. Thank you, Reaper. It looks like your picture is outdated. Do you have the DOE app? Yes. We will hold while you take and upload a current photo to that app so we can get your fo file updated. I open the app on my phone and try to look as professional as possible. Oh! <gasps> we get to customize! Oh my god, can I have pink hair? Oh. Fuck it, we're- or, that's red, isn't it? But it I wanted to- it looks kind of like magenta-ish. Okay, no, 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 let's just stick to who I am. I'm already missing my curly hair, so... Okay, then we got skin tones, okay! Could've gone a- could've gone a little darker, but that's fate. I- Am I- well, wait, am I- this might be me. You know, I'm white. There we go. Take it. Wait, well, how is my one hand up like this and my other hand is down next to my side if I'm taking a selfie? Things don't make sense. <laughs> Thank you! Just to confirm everything, your name is Reaper. You're a temporary manager. You are 30 years old and your employee identifier is XX. I hate this XX. Correct? That's correct. Excellent. Please give us 6 to 12 months to process and send out your new badge. Wait, what? They hung up. You've got to be kidding me. Will this store even be around in 6 to 12 months? Well, that was an awful start to my day. But it can only go up from here, right? I love our eyes. Little did I know that my day was going to get worse. So much worse. <gasps> I had a dolphin! The only thing that would make that better is if it was a whale shark, because I love whale sharks. What the actual hell was today? As if losing my badge at the start of the day wasn't bad enough, it had been one of the busiest days at the store in a long time. Who would have guessed anyone would go crazy for BOGO lawn ornaments? Well, at least the new chapter of Heavenly Love dropped during my shift. Heavenly Love is the Otome Gacha game I've been playing. A hardcore resource management simulator woven into a story filled with gut-wrenching gut angst. Oh! The angst makes any Otomi so much better. Plus all the hottest JPEGs of 2D men a girl can spend on. It gets me. It gets me, everybody. After after I record this, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go play my, I'm gonna go play like all of my old Otome games, man. It has three main love interests and a fourth secret one who only knows how to play hard to get. My, mine, that would be mine. Oh man, I'm into an Otome within an Otome. This is Otome-ception right now. Uh, <laughs> I read those photos. Fuck, it's me. Honestly, who needs to date when I have four wonderful husbandos to keep me company? Yes, I- yep, I get it! I get it! Oh... I... Sometimes, you know, these Otome devs are getting a little, they, they getting smart. They, they know, they know. I pour a glass of my favorite drink and settle into play. The music's, the music's very good as well. 
I feel like Otomi Jam 2022 this year, everyone did the music really well. Dear professionals, in order to improve the game experience, the server will be under maintenance. If the maintenance is not completed within the speci specified time, the period of maintenance will be extended. You will not be able to log into the game during the maintenance period. We are sorry for your disappointment. Really? Ugh, this day is the literal worst. I can't believe this is happening. Did I break a mirror? Step on a crack? Seriously, how can this day get any worse? Actually, no. I don't want to know the answer to that. After a long sip of my drink, I close the app and open my text. Hey. Hey, Reaper. What's wrong? I've had the worst day. Oh, no. Mine hasn't gone great either. Is your game down too? Yes! You too? I wrote to the cu I wrote to customer service, but all I got was thank you for your understand. What? How does that answer anything? <sighs> what am I supposed to do now? Well, maybe they're not as great as 2D husbandos, but don't you say don't you say try to go out into the weird the weird world the weird world that's it the real world and you know talk to people. I'm desperate, but I'm not that desperate. <laughs> I know it could cheer you up. You could use the dating app. What dating app? OMG, have you even opened it? I can't recall. Blinder! I made you a profile like so long ago. Oh, that dating app. I actually have a date lined up here tonight. Hoping it'll make my not so great day better. Come on, just give it a shot. I mean, the worst that could happen is you get a great story to tell. I'm pretty sure there are worse things that could happen, like being locked up in somebody's basement. Still, I couldn't deny that they might have a point. I stood over the dating app for a bit. Call me old fashioned, but I've never been a huge fan of dating apps. Same. Low key, same. Whatever happened to meeting someone while you're out and about? A chance encounter. Whatever happened to people buying me books at the bookstore? I read so many cute stories of that happening and people like, I went and got a book and, you know, someone bought it for me. Or, you know, like, you see a book and a person, like, recommends their favorite book to you and you recommend your favorite book to them. And then, like, you know, like, I just want that in my life. Is that so much to ask for? Is that too much? Too much? Seeing someone across a room that catches your eye, feeling the earth stop spinning on its axis as that person comes into full focus, the rest of the room fading away into nothing. I still believe in that heart pounding, goosebumps inducing sen sensation that you get the first time you see someone that strikes your fancy. That, oh no, they're hot kind of feeling. But maybe I'm just a hopeless romantic. It's not like those moments have ever gotten me anywhere with romance. After all, Prince Charming is a myth. Much like... <laughs> I'm not even gonna say it. I'm moving on. Nope, I'm not doing it. I put aside the Blinder app while I start browsing Yo, help! For something else to do! I see a listing for a locally owned bar that caters to grown-ups. Aren't all bars catered to grown-ups? Oh good, because the last place I want to be is around a pack of screaming, fall-down drunk 20-somethings that may accidentally throw up on my shoes. Ah, gotcha. Okay. The reviews rave about friendly bartenders and clean tables, free of any kind of sticky residue. And they have an open mic happening almost weekly. The open mic could be fun, just to see what kind of disaster would throw themselves to the wolves. Dating app or the bar, huh? Regardless, I should do something. Let's let's go to the bar. I don't want to use the dating app. Let's go to the bar. I take a shortcut by my complex through an alley. 
It's the quickest way to reach the bar. Kitty! Huh? What was that? I suddenly feel something fuzzy rub itself against my leg. I love her. I love her. Can I keep her? Can I keep her? Meow. Oh, it's just a cat. Hey there. The fluffy white cat meows loudly as he does a figure eight around my legs. I bend down to see if there's a collar hidden under his fur furry neck. Huh, no collar. Oof. Are you a stray? Sorry, kitty, I can't take you home. I can barely take care of myself. Sorry. I'll find someone to take you in, though. Promise. Huh? It looks like they already have food. I can't help but feel bad for the cat. At least someone is feeding them, though. I pet its fluffy head and continue on my way. I want to see that cat again. I already want to see that cat again. Already. Give it to me. Can I please? I want him so bad. I've walked past this bar a couple of times on my way to and from work, but I've never stepped inside. No time like the present. Ooh, classy. I like it. While it's not terribly busy inside, there are quite a few people here. I let my eyes wander and see a handsome, if a bit grungy looking man fixing the beer tap. Who w Wow. Wow. Okay. I, when I, it's, it, we're hitting the end of Sexy Spicy September and all these Otomes were like, huh. Let, let, let's, let's heat this up a little bit for you, reaps. Who wouldn't like to meet a man who's good with his hands? As I'm admiring the handyman, I hear the crowd fussing about lack of beer and cola. The drinks must all be part of the same pressure system. Glancing over to the open mic area, an adorable looking guy is setting up a mic. I wonder what kind of performer he is. Could be a musician. Maybe a singer? Hot. The open mic guy looks like he wouldn't be afraid to drink a mixed beverage, but also might be into something classic. Don't know why I just thought of it, but it's been forever since I've had a Shirley Temple. Well, I'm glad I decided to go out tonight. This place is cute, and it's also filled with very nice looking bodies. People! I, I mean, people! Making my way to the fairly crowded bar, I spot the only empty seat sandwiched between the wall and a red-headed guy. I look for a place to set my bag down where I hear someone's voice a little too close to my ear. You can set it on the bar. It's not sticky. I don't know why, but I don't like you. Excuse me? You're back. You can set it on the bar. The voice is really good for him, though. Um, okay. Thanks. You must be new around here. I've never seen you before. Shooting a shot? Okay, buddy. This guy's also cute. But I don't know why he's talking so close to me. It makes me a little uncomfortable, so I shift away from him. And you must be a regular. Just doing my part to support the local economy. Mark, what did I tell you about bothering my customers? Fuck! <laughs> I was trying to decide. Did I want to go? Did I want to go for a handyman, or did I want to go for a dork of folks? I was like, you know, I'm kind of, you know, it's, 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 either way it would be okay. I was like, it's gonna be okay. this has happened this month where I'm like I don't know who I'm gonna choose I don't know they're both okay okay I mean they're not bad but they're not like amazingly great and then BAM it's him I'm choosing him bothering what are you talking about 
more like you're bothering us right now. See, eyes, I don't know. Don't you have glasses to wash or something? Whatever, man. I'll be back. Hey, lots of voice acting. I'm always a fan of that. It's really good. Wow, even the bartender's cute. He definitely looks the type to drink whiskey from a small independent distillery. Or a handmade soda. How prestigious. The bartender rolls his eyes and turns his attention to me. Sorry about that. He's perfectly harmless. Can I get you something to drink? You? I'm not, I mean, a tall, a, a glass of water, please. Water, right. Fuck. Yes, please. Do you have a favorite? Hmm. Well, it depends on what you're in the mood for. Honey. You, I'm in the mood for you. I'm, mm. We have beer, some cocktails, and a pretty decent selection of non-alcoholic drinks. I'm... Order a cocktail, liquor, beer, custom drink, order soda. You know what? I'm gonna go... I'm, I When I go out, I get cocktails. I, I like sweet alcoholic drinks, so let's go cocktail. Uh... The Thick Peninsula Spritz? Um... What? Excuse me? <sighs> I mean, one Tanneray Premium Spritz and a new menu coming up. As he vanishes, vanishes I finally notice the crude Sharpie written over the name of the drink I have my finger on. Who does that? It never gets old. Oh. Of course it was him. Tristan chapter one. Is that the, is that? Oh my God. Huh. That doesn't look good. Is this on purpose? Wait, is this on purpose? I don't know. Because, well, it, right? It has to be because the front's not. How many people have played this game and thought that they like broke the computer? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue on. I thought something, I thought something else broke. I checked back towards the stage where the cute guy with the messy hair and glasses was testing the microphone just a few minutes ago. Huh? He's gone. In his place, a young woman is settling in with a guitar. I don't get much time to be bummed out by his departure though. A text? Reaper, did you know there are other blinders nearby? Try a blind blitz, TM, and we'll use your space magic fairy dust super secret algorithm to match you with a compatible single in your vicinity right now. Nifty, right? Who said, do we say nifty anymore? Try a blind blitz, TM. Reply yes to get started. Why are you bothering me? Texting rates apply. Blinder Company Inc. LLC is not liable for any physical, mental, or emotional damages resulting from a blind blitz TM or any blinder match. Your mileage may vary, void where prohibited. Blind date, huh? Could be fun to give it a try. Not really. I mean, I'm just gonna do this one because I don't really actually want to go on it. It's a pair phone, by the way. We recognize that. Crunching the data now. 
I give in and end up giving the dating app a chance after all. Why do we come to the bar if we're gonna give the dating app a chance? The bartender's cute, but he looks like him, he might be a bit of a player. I'll take my chances, I'll be honest. With a gaggle of young women making doe eyes at him from the end of the bar. To his right, the man fixing the beer tap is likewise very good looking, but also a little imposing and unapproachable with his tattoos and stoic demeanor. The man sitting next to me, Mark. I'd rather have a heart to heart with the plant in the corner. I kind of wanted to chat with that dark haired cutie by the microphone. Okay, Reaper. Okay, I see, I see, okay. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I don't talk to strangers in person. All done. We're connecting you to. Swear to God, if you say Mark. Select random user. True, display, no. Great. Your adventure awaits and your match will contact you soon. Good luck. Well, that was underwhelming. Greetings, fellow blinder. Tristan. On a fine evening, you find yourself standing at a crossroads at the edge of an enchanting forest. One path leads east, the other west. Is he playing a game with me? Let's go east, because east coast, best coast, fight me. I decide to play along and pick a direction. I go east. You walk a distance down the path, enjoying the rustle of the wind in the trees and the bright light of the moon, and happen upon an establishment for the consumption of spirits and assorted li libations. Wow. This sounds, this sounds like an IRL DM. <laughs> it's like I'm playing Dungeons and Dragons right now. Okay, which way do I go? Go inside, keep walking. What? No, nope, you know what? Let's go inside. I go inside. Because I came here to drink, so we drinking. It's a slow night in the bar. There's ambient music of your preferred variety. In, in the corner, candle it. Or not. There's a dark, handsome, mysterious looking man sitting by himself, nursing a drink, while the bartender absentmindedly reads the paper. I asked the man in the corner if I can join him. I need a drink. Oh, I know what we're playing. I don't know what we're playing. What are we playing, Game Reaper? Unless we're playing D&D. &D. Or, you know, we're playing an Otome game. This like... Can I? I'm gonna lie. I know what we're playing. I'm gonna lie. Sorry, I know you're trying to do a whole thing, but... I know what this game is, lull. This is like a Bork situation, right? He didn't answer, so it's not, not a Bork situation. Maybe he just wants me to ask in a certain way. I asked the narrator to hurry up and get to his pitch. Winky face. Oh, <laughs> you caught me. I'm surprised. Most people have never heard of THE classic text-based adventure game. I'm actually more of an Ontario path girl, to be honest. You like vintage games? Vintage things, generally. But not dying of dysentery. <laughs> okay. That, okay, that was funny. Tristan, who are you? You, you, okay. <laughs> So anyway, congratulations, you've reached the end of the journey. I know this app says we're supposed to be pretty close by to each other. For your achievement, I can award you with the name of a bar nearby where we can meet up for a drink in like half an hour. I just have to take care of something real quick, if that's okay. No pressure. I understand if you'd rather not. I wonder what kind of prize it could be. I accept my reward. Okay, I accept my reward. One reward, please. 
Is that a yes? Are you trying to back out of giving me my reward? I use those eye emojis way too much as well, so I feel her. No! No, 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 no. Okay, see you then. To my surprise, the name of the bar Tristan sends over a few moments later is the one I'm already sitting in. Is he already here? While I wait for my drink, I take a look around, but don't see anyone in particular using their phone. My attention wanders back towards the stage where the guitarist plucks away at the strings of their instrument. Before too much longer, the bartender reappears. Here's your spritz. Cheers. Is there gonna be live music all night? He shrugs. Hmm. Maybe. The mic is open for anyone. Who knows what you'll see next. He gives me a wink as he collects my card to pay for the drink. Okay, what's the, the Tristan was really, you know, interest like funny, funny, and I, I appreciate, you know, gamer to gamer, but still, mm. Mm. What he means, Mark, I need you to leave. Turn into a real cringe palooza. Mark, I need you to fucking leave. Mark, don't start. I'll get this rung up, miss. Excuse me. Mark keeps up his commentary beside me, clutching his cheap domestic beer. Takes a lot of courage. Just how much cringe we talk- it, it takes a lot of courage to get up there and do open mic stuff. I think it's actually pretty brave to put yourself out there in the name of art. <laughs> okay, but last week some chick played hot cross buns on a kazoo for 20 minutes straight. Ah, uh, well that's... He offers his hand to me. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. I'm Reaper. Pleasure to meet you. Not really much into chit chat, thanks. I don't like you. I'm sorry, I don't like you. You're kind of rude. I glance down at his hand. Hi, YouTube. Sorry. Um, I had a little bit of, uh issue with the computer and then i also had an issue with my eyelashes so we were already so far into the game that i didn't want to just not finish recording so went to the restroom took off eyelashes kind of tried to fix this up reset my computer and let's see if we can get back into it it does seem like also, the game, what I thought was a part of the game, like being broken in the background, is not a part of the game, because now that I've booted it up again, those little pixels are not there. So, I'm still going to go past that as well, but just so you guys know what has happened. Yeah. And just so you guys can see the really nice transition without any breaks. There we go. That is how it is supposed to look. Apologies, devs. That would have been cool, but i that's not what it was meant to be. Uh, not- okay, and this is where we were. Not really much into chit-chat, thanks. I glance down at his hand. Looks kinda sweaty. Not really the type into making small talk, thanks. Before Mark can get in another word, we're interrupted by a round of applause for the guitarist, who seems to be finishing up for the night. Thank you, thank you. That's all for me. The next performer on the list tonight is... Probably a loser. Definitely a masochist. Tristan! T Tristan? Tristan from the app? Tristan? Hey. What? Like you know the guy or something? I came to review the performance. Never seen him before. I don't want to tell him. I don't want to tell him I've never seen him before. I came to review the performance. I, uh, I'm here to review the open mic night for my blog. <laughs> wow, Reeps. Just a bad habit I have. Repeating names to remember them. I'll just... Make a note of it now on my phone. 
I stood her out quickly. I don't get the vibe Mark will react in a positive way if I admit I have plans to meet Tristan. Me, me and Game Reaper think of the same here. I shrink down into my seat and look up Tristan's profile with a swiftness which I was sent a link to after we were matched. And yet, very conveniently, completely and totally forgot to check after he messaged me. It's hit. Oh my god, it's adorkable! Tristan33 Hobbies, a list, a full list of my current extracurricular affiliations can be provided upon request. Pizza. <laughs> Looking for all my socks that have been eaten by the dryer. Favorite quote, you can only be certain of a lack of certainty. Fuck. Hi. Hey. Hello. My name is Tristan. It's great to be here with you tonight. You guys, okay. Oh, baby boy. Oh, you're, oh, I like, okay. Um. He introduces, introduces himself to the dozen-ish people sitting in the crowd. Most of them caught up in their own conversations, hardly paying attention to him at all. Oh no. That's him! I'm not supposed to meet him here for another 20 minutes. I must have planned it so I would arrive after he finished his set. Oh, what you don't know, baby boy, is I'm already here. Oh, oh, depending on how this goes, depending on my talk with him, we might have changed. Oh my god, I just want to see you smile, though. You look really scared. If I get up now and try to leave, he'll definitely see me. Guess I'm going to get to see his act. Recently, I decided to cancel my cable TV. Uh, has anyone done this? Okay. You can't just do it online. They actually make you call them or even go to their office. <laughs> In person. Okay, stuck over doing comedy apparently. He grimaces as if to punctuate the horror of actually having to engage in a face-to-face -face interaction with a stranger. I am still clinging to some of my will to live, though. So I called them up. <laughs> There's a whole process to it. First, they make you match wits with the automated phone operator. It's like encountering a sphinx of antiquity. Except instead of answering riddles, you just get the shout, Representative! Over and over until it lets you pass. A stand-up routine? This seems... fine. Hey. Mark taps me on the shoulder. Psst. What the fuck's a sphinx? The fuck is a sphinx? Well, it's... I'd like to know myself. It's... it's... how do you not know what a sphinx is? You know, Egypt, the pyramids, what goes on four legs in the morning, two in the afternoon, and three at night. Mark stares at me with a blank look. It's a mythological beast that acts like a guard and makes travelers answer riddles to let them pass. Oh, nerd shit. This is why I didn't want to talk to you, Mark. Meanwhile, Tristan continues his set. After I vanquish the automation and navigate the, le the, the labyrinthian phone tree, I finally locate the option to cancel my service and find myself face to face with the final boss. The retention specialist. I stand fast against my mortal foe and explain that I want to cancel my service. In exchange, they counter my attack with an offer of a free year of content conglomerate company TV Plus. <laughs> Checkmate, I laughed to myself. Um... I wish I was laughing. Why can't seem to shut up about Tristan's performance? B shut up! You know, if you don't have anything nice to say, maybe you could try not saying anything at all. Oh, what are you, my mother? Uh, honey, you would be lucky to call me mommy. Are you gonna put me in a timeout? Again, you wish! Phew, never mind. Forgot I said anything. I moved my drink to the other side of my space at the bar, shifting my weight as far away from the redhead as possible. Now, some people would be super excited to take a deal like this. Lots of people love the content conglomerate company. Movies, the TV shows, the merchandise, the hotels, the theme parks. Even me. So... A few years ago... What? Oh, I, the, the, I, sorry, my, 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 my eyes went down to the next line and... Uh, a few years ago, I even went to visit content conglomerate company land with my wife. Wife? 
Mayday, mayday, red alert. The hull has been breached and we're taking on water, Captain. And she loved it so much, she got a season pass after that very visit. Hmm. I thought she was just into the rides, you know? But then I found out what she really wanted to ride was the big cheese. Ricky Rodent himself. Buddy, is this still is this still stand up or are you good? Is this still stand up or are you about to go into a whole, you know, getting everything off your chest? Because I don't know if this is the time or the place. <laughs> well, not the Ricky Rodent. Just the guy who wears the suit for the meet and greets. So that's a fun story to tell at social gatherings. Hey Tristan, how's your wife doing? Um... Pretty good as far as I know. She left me for a man in a rodent suit, destroying my sense of self-worth and leaving me unmoored with no sense of direction in my life. But how about that sh this charcuterie board? On the bright side though, after I explained all this to the retention specialist, they let me out of my cable contract. No more questions asked. Thanks for coming. I'm Tristan. He finishes his set to a round of very confused and slightly uncomfortable applause. Fair. <laughs> Yo, bro. Sounds like your ex might have thanked you for coming if she ever actually came. <gasps> I'm gonna punch him. Can I have an option to punch him? Clearly no longer satisfied with throwing his shade on the side, Mark heckles Tristan loudly across the bar. This guy. Nah, defending Tristan, I'm gonna kick his ass. Even if I not, even if I don't romance Tristan, he's just being an absolute dick. No, not cool. Fed up with Mr. I probably peaked in high school and I've been taking it out on everyone else ever since, I finally give him a piece of my mind. Hey, how about you quit being a giant douche nozzle for a change and leave him alone? Why don't you make me? Punch him. <clears throat> okay, okay, break it up. Mark, I've warned you about heckling the open mic participants before. Your show's over now. Time to go. The redheaded man hems and haws, scoffing at the bartender. Yeah. Come on, man. I said get out. Let me see your face in here for at least a day or two. Mark continues to grumble, but collects his stuff and departs the bar. Bye. Sorry about that. The guy's been dealt a crap hand in life as something of an acquired taste. That's no excuse for being a dick. Uh-huh, I bet. Well, looks like you'll be meeting your dude in distress before too much longer. He's headed this way. I still really like you. Fuck. This is cool. Perfectly normal. A fairy tale romance in the making, right? While I wait for Tristan, I pull out my phone to text my best friend. Well, today continues to be an experience. The eye emoji. You try blinder? Yes? Sort of? I tried blinder blitz. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark! I haven't even done that. Crazy! How was it? Well, he's really cute. He had me play Bork to talk to him. Wow, that takes me back. Sounds like an old school nerd. Yeah, but... I like it. Sure, he's a bit eccentric, but funny. Eccentric, huh? That's different than what you're used to dating. I found the whole process kind of endearing. And he wasn't too put off when I was like, I know what this game is. He he kind of just rolled with the punches. I mean, you're also a nerd. <laughs> I know. I know, Jay. I know. And I love you for it. Okay, so you still out? Yep. He just finished stand-up comedy at the bar. <laughs> and... 
I think my heart melted a little. Actually, he's heading this way right now. TTYL! Hey, wait! Don't forget to let me know how it turns out. Ooh, chapter two, Tristan. Did this game just choose for me? Based on like my drink order and stuff? I didn't do many choices. Let's see if I get a talk with Tristan and then I'll call it. As the bartender predicted, Tristan approaches the bar after finishing up his set. Oh, hey Tristan. Really sorry about the heckler and uh, all of that. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, get used to it. Um. Uh huh. I I bet. Well, looks like you and your nine shining armor here have some catching up to do. Shout if you wanted something. I find myself alone with Tristan, up close and personal at last. His blinder photo really failed to capture how soft the messy dark mop of hair on his head looks in person, nor how intensely green his eyes are, even in the lower light of the bar. He fidgets for a beat before turning to me. Hi. Hey. Hello. <laughs> he fidgets some more, looking rather bashful about the scene that just played out over his stand-up act. So... I'm your blinder match. But I understand if you if you changed your mu It really sucks what that jerk just said to you. We talk over each other, then pause. <laughs> you go first. I want to make it up to you. Can I buy you a drink? You sure you don't want to abandon ship? You still have time to get away. Buddy, I need you to stop. I need you to stop putting yourself down because that is not attractive. You're fine. If I wanted to jump ship and run, I would have done it already. You're good. Sit. You're drinking. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to be carrying any red flags, would you? Uh huh. N no. I might have some tissues, though. <laughs> Never mind. So, drinks? I know I need one after getting up there in front of everyone like that. Oh, yeah. Yes, thank you. We collect our drinks and set ourselves up at a table in the corner farthest from the stage. It was pretty surprising to see you up there. Your profile didn't mention you being a comedian. Oh, I'm not. A professional comedian, that is. It's my act for the improv club I belong to. And since you saw it, and you're still here, I'd love to hear your review. In spite of his faintly melancholy, somewhat disheveled appearance, Tristan is animated and energetic when he speaks, his big bright green eyes full of open, earnest warmth from behind his wire-framed glasses. Oh no, I really didn't expect him to be this cute. I'm a sucker for sweater vest, what can I say? I was really impressed. I'll give you an A for effort. Hmm. I don't wanna lie. Like, like I thought I thought some of it was funny. Like I liked the um I liked the Sphinx and stuff and I liked the nerdy things. But then you know, kinda tucking a bit, I don't know, the, the ex-wife, the wife kinda put me off a little bit. But to be fair, he was also really confident, like even with the heckler and like, you know, not getting a lot of applause. He just kept moving forward. You know what? I I'll say it. I'll say it. I was impressed. He looks so hopeful. The accolades start slipping off my tongue before they even register in my brain. There is no way I would have been able to come up with something like that on my own. Forget about coming up in front of an audience to perform it. It takes a lot of dedication and bravery. It's really impressive. Your material is kind of sad, though. Nobody deserves to have their partner sneak around with someone else like that. Oh. That. But on the bright side, you catching my act tonight spared me from the anxiety of having to tell you about my divorce and worrying about how you'd react to it. I guess that does make one less thing to go over in the getting to know you checklist. You have a checklist? <laughs> it's a figure of speech, sweetie. I can't help but laugh at his pained expression. The adorable way his eyebrows shoot up and disappear into the fringes of his dark hair hanging into his eyes. Oh, oh you're kidding. 
Oh, the voice actor is so good. Oh, oh, that was really good. That was re that was really well delivered. I thought maybe I was late to another Rick Rock dating trend. No, sorry. I only know how to do this the old-fashioned way. <laughs> old-fashioned can still be fun. Let's play a game. Tell me three things about yourself. Two of them are the truth, and one of them isn't. Then I'll guess which is which. Um. Wanna give it a try? I love two truths and a lie. Okay, sure. Uh, let's see. I work as a temp retail manager. I moved into town six months ago. Vanilla is my favorite flavor of ice cream. Vanilla is not my favorite. It is chocolate chip cookie dough. Hmm. Tristan pretends to consider this for a moment. <laughs> Alas, poor vanilla. You are the white bread of frozen dairy and your status as the fair maiden's preference is a sham. Oh, talk medieval to me, baby. <laughs> I love it this way too much. The next one will be harder for sure. Your turn. Okay, well, I'm divorced. I recently canceled my cable. My ex left me for Ricky Road at Mascot at the content conglomerate company. One of these is a fib? <laughs> Looks like it. Hmm. He didn't say ex-wife. Well, no, did he? He did it later. Did he not cancel the cable? Was I not paying enough attention? To be fair, I was very- I was very focused on, like, making sure none of my shit broke again. Cable cancellation. So, you were defeated by the retention specialist after all. Truly a formidable foe. Formidable indeed, but it's not that. The divorce? Alright. Ricky Rodent? Aha! So the truth comes out in a lie. You made up that story about the guy in the rat suit. You got me. You actually split up for the regular boring kind of reasons, but what's funny about that? Oh god! Yeah, okay! You know, your comedy just went up a notch because of that, because that was a very... Now, now that I know the backstory, that was actually a very good connection. The comedy was a lot better now in my eyes. Nothing? Exactly. And it's your turn again. I take a sip of my drink and then reel off my list. I grew up on a farm. Photography is my hobby. I decided to try the Blinder app tonight because my favorite video game got stuck in maintenance. Um... Photography is not my hobby. I feel like playing Otome's is my hobby. Now that is more difficult. He takes a few moments to consider it. You're not wearing overalls, nor are you carrying a camera bag, so there's no easy way to confirm either farming or photography. Hmm. But your assertion that your game has suffered an unexpected disruption is intriguing. What's it called? What kind of game is it? Uh, well, it's a little embarrassing. Me going on any dates? What games do you play? Um, well, you know how we're on a, a real date right now? I, I, I go, I go on like, you know, fake dates and romances where I get three options and I try to choose the best one and get 2D people to love me. <laughs> and now when I say it out loud, it just sounds sad. <laughs> A little embarrassing because you're fibbing about it? No, actually. That's the funny part. No, no, it's real. <sighs> Fine. It's called Heavenly Love and it's about... You don't want to hear about this. Hey! Did you know Bork is made of a 15,000 lines of code? If you want, I could tell you about all of its secrets in Indiosyncrasies instead. Okay, so, stories about a young woman who is blessed, or cursed, some would say, with the power of heaven, H-E-A-V-E-N. And it's all about her trying to save the world from hell, H-E-L-L, as told through the chronicles of her various relationships with the three male lead characters. 
Oh, it's a dating simulator and Otome game? How, how, how do you know that? <laughs> Did you know you look up anything on the internet in less than one second? He shows me his phone that he's been holding under the table. The search results for heavenly love pulled up on the screen. You know, I respect it. Uh, thank, thank, you for, thank you for looking things up. Appreciate you. Cheater? Hey! I never said outside references weren't allowed. I want to see him smile. There we go. I want- I- He looks really scared all the time and that's kind of a put off for me. But when he smiles like this in the sprite, it's really cute. Also, talking to him has been the best so far. So, you like Otome games? You like dating games? Y yeah. But you don't like talking about them. I like talking about them. It's just that most people don't. I think it's trash for girls and plenty of people would even tell you that they're not even proper games at all. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get sad now. <laughs> Love stories have been a foundation of storytelling for time immemorial. Why shouldn't they be the subject of video games too? So... If we were in a dating game right now, what kind of love interest do you think I would be? Can't put you in a box. Might be a low key on Derek. No. No, I don't. No, because if you're if you're a, if you're Yandere, I don't I don't want you. I do not I do not like Yandere uh, lines, romance lines. I can't put you in a box. Well, so 2D love interests generally tend to have like one overriding, all-encompassing personality trait. The flirt, the boy scout, the CEO. The cinnamon roll, too good for this world. Too pure. Immediately think of Enoch from my, um, my alien roommate. It's part of what makes dating games fun to play because you know exactly what you're getting in a way you don't in real life. But at the same time, you can't simplify real people down to singular personality traits like that. I'm sure you're your own unique person. <laughs> well, I guess that leaves us with photography or farming. He gestures to my hand, resting on the table near my glass. May I? I nod. Uh, okay. He picks up my hand, gently turning it over to inspect my palm. His own hands are large, with long, slender fingers. His nails are clean, but show signs of having been bitten down short. He studies my hand intently, turning it this way and that with aching care, before swiping the pad of his thumb across the surface of my palm, leaving tiny frisions of feeling in its wake. This is, this is really, this is really intimate, but in a sweet and a wholesome way. Oh! He looks up and our eyes meet. A beat passes. Too long and not long enough. He's still holding my hand, his thumb now doing a little more than tracing tiny, endless circles in my palm. Tristan seems to realize it with a start, suddenly but carefully placing my hand back down on the table as he clears his throat. They're so soft. I don't think you grew up on a farm. <laughs> farm? I'm- I'm out of it! I've- I've left the game! Oh, right. Uh, you're right. I didn't grow up on a farm. I flex my fingers, curling them around the cool glass and then raising it to my lips in hopes it will dispel the heat from my palm and my cheeks. Two for two, and it's your turn again. So... Okay. Last call, everyone. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. <laughs> my favorite. Last call. Guess that makes us our last round for tonight. Better make it count. Oh, here goes nothing. I really enjoyed meeting you tonight. And I think you're very beautiful. Man. I'd like to ask you for a kiss goodnight. Oh my god! And I'm very confident you're not gonna throw your drink in my face and refuse if I ask. Wee -ho, ho, 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 ho. He's really 
sweet. And to be fair, like a bartender dude got me, but bartender dude also is like, I can't see redhead dick for like, you know, two days. And that guy is a, that guy is a massive asshole. So I don't know, just because you're winking at me. Oh my God, but we have, there's cinnamon. Of, mm, oh my God, I don't think I've gotten kissed in a game this early before. I don't think I've gotten kissed in any of the Otomes yet. Am I gonna kiss him or where's what does there's no time like the present mean? No, I'll be honest. I will be honest. We go for what we want. Guys, guys, we we go. I'm gonna kiss him. Let's go. It's hard to say what comes over me in that instant. Maybe it's the stress of a long day. Maybe it's the spritz hitting a little too hard. Maybe it's the overwhelming urge to relieve Tristan of the burden of making the first move and bearing the risk of rejection. Maybe it's a little bit because I know that I can. That he'll let me. He doesn't hesitate or resist as I reach out and take his glasses off, folding them up and setting them down carefully on the table. Whatever it is, as if compelled by some invisible force, I lean forward and kiss Tristan. We got a kiss! Oh! Oh my god, this makes this makes all the technical shit and and my lash is not working. So worth it. Oh. oh my god, this is so cute. His lips are soft and as warm as his hands, which he keeps firmly fixed to the arms of the chair, like he's not quite sure what to do with them. Kissing Tristan is sweet and a little bit stilted like he is. <clears throat> Last call. Buddy, you had a chance is all I'm saying, okay? <laughs> you 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 could have had this at the beginning had you known my reaction. So, mm. Oh, he looks so cute. We break apart, startled and a little disoriented as the lights snap onto full brightness around us. Whoa! Reaper? Come on with me. I say it without even thinking about it. It's madness! But it's madness that I feel when I look into the sickly sweet hazy green of his eyes. The blush dusting around his cheeks clearly visible in the harsh fluorescent light. He fumbles to put his glasses back on and also with an answer. Are you sure that's a good idea? We only just met. I'm taking a chance. Wrong move, Romeo. Nah, I'm taking a chance, buddy, and I'm letting you in on it if you want it. I know it's a little crazy, but honestly, it's still only like the third craziest thing that's happened so far tonight. But if you don't want to, I totally get it. No, I, I might be not quite legally blind without my glasses, but I'm not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wrote that line. Genius, that genius. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> he stands up and offers me his hand to help me up, and arm in arm we leave the bar. leave it there for tonight actually i don't know how far we're gonna go i don't know how far this game will go i'm gonna leave it because i think we all i think we all need you know we like let's just enjoy the cuteness and that we got a kiss for once in an otome game before um you know we get uh too sexy and spicy oh my god though oh I don't know. Okay, okay. So I don't know if like 
that's my only chance. Like, I've chosen him. So... Like, that's, that's my route for this entire game. Or if it's gonna be like, hey, you can go out with all of them. Like, you'll get multiple chances to go out with all of them kind of thing. Because I... I don't know. I would like to see... Because I will be streaming these on Twitch once the... Once September is over and I go back to my regular Frisky Flirty Fridays, I will be doing all of these Otomes and I will be finishing them. These are just little snippets so that you can kind of get a feel for the game. So... I don't... I would love to see what my chat thinks and what the Twitch community thinks about between the two. I'm so sorry, I'm not really into... I'm not into really handyman too much. I just had a very visceral reaction to this guy, and then middle one has, like, grown on me through his nerdiness, so... Guys, we got kissed! Okay, again, as someone who as someone who also plays Otomes and, you know, wants to talk about Otomes, but nobody wants to talk to them about Otomes because, you know, it's seen as a lesser or something. I don't know. It's just really, really, it's really, really sweet for someone to be like, yo, you can you can talk about it. It's like, I don't know, I just I really I really, really started enjoying him. Dang it. Oh, but this game, guys, music was great. I love the art. The sprites are awesome. The backgrounds are awesome. Uh, they gave us the sexy and the sp- They gave us that kiss? They gave us the kiss early on? Oh, I'll never- I'll never- I'll never be mad at an early Otome kiss. Like, I'm just gonna be totally honest. If I've- if I've wanted it and I've gone for the romance for it, I want that kiss. Even with tech stuff being an issue and- makeup being an issue this game this game just totally lifted my spirits i i wasn't sure if i wanted to finish recording it but i'm so glad i did oh this is so great guys if you liked this game if you're like reaper i can't wait i want to see what happens next uh you can get the game yourself information is down in the description box below as well as all of my social media and again my twitch after I do September, I won't be putting out content every day. It's very, very difficult to do with my full-time job on top of it. But I will be doing Frisky Flirty Fridays where I do play Otome games and I'll play them completely through. So if you want to be a part of that community, go ahead and look down in the description box below and follow me on Twitch. And with that, I hope you have a great day, night, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.